All right, so now that we made our fins, we need to focus on putting the fins onto the bottles, right? So we want two things. One is we want them symmetrical, right? Symmetry matters. We also want them to be super, super strong so that when they get launched off the rocket, they don't rip off. I've seen way too many get ripped off because they don't tape it very, very well. So what do we need? We need our bottle, we need a Sharpie, we need our fins, we need a pencil, we need uh, scissors, and, oh, a ruler too. And also, one of these scrap pieces of paper that you use when you, when you cut it off, right? Um, so if that's there, that's handy, okay? So you can use it, doesn't really matter. Ultimately, our goal is to make something that looks like this, right? I ch this one has four fins on it, and what's, what's great about this one is it's symmetrical, meaning the distance between each one of these is identical, right? So how do we I go about doing that? And also, the height from the bottom of the bottle is identical. So how did I do that, right? The easiest way to do that is what I'm gonna just show you now. So I'm gonna take my bottle, right? So my nozzle is the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Instead of trying to like measure things out on the bottle and stuff like that, it, it, takes, too, it takes too much work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this piece of paper. I'm gonna wrap it around the bottle like this, right? And what I'm gonna notice when I do this, right? There's a little bit of overlapping that happens, right? Like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that little overlapping off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace right there, how much to cut off. So you'll see that I kind of basically traced, sorry, I don't know if you can see that, right? But I can trace off that much off, right? So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that off. All right, so now when I put it back around this, I know that this piece of paper basically is gonna get around this whole thing, like that, okay? Perfect. All right, so now what I do is I'm gonna measure basically how long this piece of paper is, right? And this piece of paper is about 26.4 um, centimeters, 26.3 centimeters. And I've already done the calculations. It's 6.6 .6 centimeters. Like if I divide this by four, right? Because I have four, if I have four fins, I'm gonna divide it by four, it's 6.6. .6. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually put a mark at each mark. At 6.6, I'm gonna put a mark there, right? And then it's gonna be 13.2, put another one there, all right? And then 13.2 plus 6.6 .6 is what? 19.8. Um, so I'm gonna put 19.8 right here, all right? And the great thing is I don't need to put another mark here at the end because it's already done, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it where I think I'm gonna to wanna to put it around, right? So I have my marks, all right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sharpie, and I'm gonna make my first line right here. I'm gonna go like that, right? So it looks like that. That's my starting point, right? And then I'm gonna wrap this all the way around until it goes all the way around to the finish, right? So here we go. So the next part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, and the best part is from here, right, it's pretty much straight on. So what I'm gonna find next is the line that I just made right here. I'm gonna make a little line right there, right? I'm gonna make another one kind of below it right there, right? And then I'm gonna move it around to my other mark, which is right here and right there at the bottom. I'm gonna move this around again to my next tick tick mark. I'm gonna mark it, and then I'm gonna do this, right? And so now what I do is I have a bunch of marks. I've got my starting mark here, and I've got all these things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically take my ruler, and I'm gonna connect the dots on all these ones right here that I made a mark on, right? So I'm gonna go like that. So that's straight, right? So next one. Cross like that, and then my last one, right here. All right, now what's so significant about these lines? Well, these are the lines where I'm gonna put my fins on, 
right? So now what I can do is I can take my fin and I'm gonna place it right over the top of it like this, right? So that this part right here matches up with right here, right? Now what I'm gonna do is, because I like this, I'm gonna put my bottom piece right here like that. See, I'm gonna try and maybe zoom in a little bit here. Sorry guys, right? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on like this. See how it matches up perfectly? So the bottom of that fits on perfectly with the bottom of that, right? So I'm gonna make that mark right there. So I'm gonna make sure that this goes straight in as I go over the top of that, like that. And if I really, really wanted to, I can also then, if I'm super, super good, I'm also gonna put maybe a dot right there where the end of it is, right? Oops, that's probably not that very straight, right? There you go, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, sorry. That first line is probably not very good. But that little dot right there is probably the extended part of it. So if I wanted to, I can really extend this all the way down like this. And I don't really care if it's that straight, because all I care about is that it goes on like that, all right? I can do that perfectly fine. So I know that that's my straight shot right there. So now I'm ready to basically tape this on. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my tape, right? And before I start, I'm gonna pull six pieces off. So I'm gonna go one, and I'm gonna put it to maybe to the edge so that way I have access to it. Three, okay, let's go four, five, and six. All right, so now, I probably made these way too long, to be honest with you, right? So now what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna be ready to now put this on, right? I've got my wedge in there. I wanna make sure that my wedge doesn't come out, so I'm just gonna kind of make sure it's in there, right? Pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these little tabs. This is where it helps to create these tabs because now these tabs are gonna what's gonna go onto this thing. That's the reason why we created these tabs because I'm gonna put the tape right on the tab like this, right? So I'm gonna have it go a little bit past here and a little bit past here, right? So I'm gonna do um, just one of them, right? Because then I can move it and adjust it if I need to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure that this is on perfectly straight. So again, I wanna make sure, sorry, I'm gonna move this around a little bit. I wanna make sure that it's perfectly straight. I'm gonna spend that extra maybe 20 or 30 seconds, maybe not even that much, 10 seconds to make sure everything aligns before I completely tape it on, right? Because again, remember, it's neatness matters, right? So I'm gonna put it on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure, right, the tabs are open. And I'm gonna make sure that, hey, if it's on perfect. So I'm gonna put the first one on, right? So all the other tabs are still not set on, but I made the first one, which is the, which is the one that's the most important because that's the one that's going to make sure that it's completely straight. So now it's on straight, right? So now what I can do is I can take the other ones and start putting on the tape on the other ones. I'm gonna go like this, put it on this tab right here right? And then I'm going to flip this over. So now, right now, these tabs are not taped, right? So I'm going to take the next two tapes and put one on this tab, right? And then I'm going to put the next one on this tab. Boom, right? So I made this pretty darn clean. So now I took four pieces, it's on, and I'm going to kind of smooth it out perfectly. Now, where do the other two tabs go, right? What I wanna make sure is when I do this, I don't want anything to catch right here, right? Sometimes that I don't tape it on perfectly well, so this part opens up and then the air can get in right here and I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of, another piece of tape, I'm gonna tape it over the top of the other tapes right here, like this, going sideways. Now when I do that, guess what? I'm ensuring that that tape right here, right, it doesn't come off. So it's perfect. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side as well, right? I don't want that air to get in there. So I'm gonna take another piece of tape. Oops. Totally messed that up. Okay, let's just get rid of that, right? And I'm gonna put it on right here, like that, okay? So there you go.
Now I've just gotten one whole piece on there. And if you look at it, it's really, really sturdy, right? If I didn't have, let's say, these tabs, and I try to put it on like this, it's gonna flop all over the place like this, right? And I don't want that floppiness to happen. But these tabs allow for a really, really strong connection, right, to the bottle. And so now I've got these really nice sturdy fins that aren't gonna move very, very much. And that's exactly what I wanted. So that's the reason why we create these tabs when we have those fins that we created. So if you're wondering, what, why do I do that? It's because it's easier for me to tape onto my bottle, right? And then now what I'm gonna do is, I have these other ones here, and I'm just gonna put, so if I have another fin, I'm gonna put it on right here, like this, right? As I'm gonna go through it. So now I have these measured out, I can put these on straight, I could put these on clean, right? And I could put these on symmetrically. And ultimately by the end, you're gonna get something that looks like this, right? And then you're ready to go. And then all you have to do is now make the nose cone, which looks something like this, right? If you have any questions, let me know.